Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, my name is Hermela. Thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing another what I eat in a day. I find these videos to be so fun to film for you guys. I love showing you how I eat during the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, some snacks in between. I just feel like it's so fun and I love cooking and it's fun to share this different side of me with you guys. Yeah, so I feel like I should have like a cooking with Hermela. <laughs> so you guys have been sharing that you love these types of videos and you've been trying out some of my meals. I hope you've been finding them easy to replicate back at home. Uh, they are one of my favorite uh, meals that I've been showing you guys in the past videos that I've been showing you. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different. I have partnered with Daily Harvest. They provide healthy, clean meals delivered straight to your home. You have the option of picking whether or not you want it delivered weekly or monthly. There's so much flexibility with this company and I love the meals. They're super, super delicious. You have the option of picking meals for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, they have so much variety and it's just all healthy food. They try to incorporate veggies and fruits back into your diet, especially now around the holiday season where we're just eating a lot of comfort food. Daily Harvest makes sure that they um, are there for you to get your nutrition. So I am gonna go ahead and jump into making breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Um, it is one of my favorite meals from Daily Harvest. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I just wanted to show you guys how I mentioned earlier that they have so many different varieties of food um, meals for the day. So you have harvest bowls, you have smoothies, you also have, that's another harvest bowl, um, you have a flatbread that you can choose. We have oat bowls for the morning, for breakfast time, and yeah, so for today I'm going to go ahead and actually make this oat bowl for breakfast. It has all of these ingredients in it, plant-based, clean, and delicious. So let's go ahead and get this cooking. So for this bowl, it says to add half a cup of your preferred milk to this and stir it. Um, I prefer to have it as warm oat, so it says for a stove top, pour into a pot and cook over medium high heat for two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna add half a cup of almond milk to the pot. Okay, so the almond milk is in there and I'm just gonna open it up and show you guys what it looks like in here before it defrosts. Here is the bowl on the inside. It has the cinnamon in there, apples, you can see the oats, the pumpkin, walnuts. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the pot and get breakfast going. All right. Okay guys, so the oat bowl is all ready to transfer to the bowl. So that was like two minutes and it smells so good. The cinnamon is so strong. I'm just so excited because I'm not normally a breakfast person and Daily Harvest has really helped me to kind of get my nutrients in without worrying about having to skip breakfast or not get enough vitamins, etc. Okay, let's eat. All right guys, time to give this a try. It only took two minutes to make. That is what I love about Daily Harvest, the convenience of it. Um, it smells so good, so I'm gonna go ahead and chow down. <laughs> so good. You can tell it's super healthy and nutritious because there's no artificial flavors or added sugars in it. Um, it's all natural, plant-based, clean, love it. And I have a code for you guys. You can go ahead and use Hermela to get $25 off your first order. You will not regret it. I'll have it also in the description box for you guys as well as the link for you guys to go ahead and check it out. Let me know how you like it. I highly, highly recommend. I am excited to also show you lunch because it's another daily harvest a meal. Let me know down below what's your favorite meal of the day. For me, I think it's dinner or lunch. Breakfast, I'm like, meh. And of course, I wanted to show you my partner who is sitting right next to me. She follows me everywhere I go. Hello. Hello. Oh, I book her. Okay guys, after breakfast, I am just working on editing the next vlog for my channel that will be going up before this video. Bella, why? You're ruining, ow! Oh my God. You're ruining all of our socks. We have no more socks left. So per Morton's request, he wants one too. So I'm gonna make him another oat bowl, the banana oats, butter squash, cacao, cinnamon, and 
dry sheet. I think that's probably not how you say it. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It did get a little smushed. So I'm just using almond milk again. And then put that in there and warm this guy up. So his opal is all done. It smells so good like cinnamon. And I also have the coffee running in the meantime. Okay, so here is his bowl for his breakfast. I'm gonna get my coffee now. So I just wanted to show you guys this creamer. It's become one of my favorites. It's not the most healthiest, but it doesn't have the crazy ingredients that the other one had. So I prefer this one. The taste is really nice. So I also wanted to share with you guys some tips that I have for being productive in the morning um, or how I go about being productive. Um, in the morning sometimes, like I mentioned before, I like to wake up early around 7, 7.30, get Bella out, get her on a nice long walk so she can have movement, go to the bathroom before I go ahead and start working. And then I also come home, I sometimes like to play music, light music, something that will get me awake or in a good mood. Um, sometimes I also drink my coffee outside and get fresh air also on top of that. I did pick up a new book that I'm very excited about. It's the An American Marriage um, by Tayari Jones. It's a fiction novel and I, I don't read and that has kind of been my biggest downfall I feel like. I always set myself goals. I have a Kindle with books on it but it's really hard for me to focus or stay awake because <laughs> I tend to sleep or read right before I sleep, which is probably not the best idea. If you guys have any tips on when you guys read and feel the most effective when reading, engaged with the book, let me know. Um, but yeah, so I've kind of left a goal for myself to read about an hour a day. So I'm excited about this goal. We'll see how it goes. Um, I heard a lot of really good recommendations on this one from friends as well as online. So I'm excited to pick it up and read it. You guys can also be productive by setting an alarm in the morning so that you are awake um, and you don't oversleep by accident. Um, also creating a to-do list is very, very helpful because it allows you to check off anything that you've done or it also gives you an idea of how to prioritize your um, items in order of importance. So that really helps me as well. So those are just some tips that I like to follow by because it helps me stay in line, especially as we're working from home and things are um, unpredictable these days. You just want to make sure you're organized and ready to tackle the day. And he was 66 pounds and before that he went like a, a month before that to get like his um Hey guys, we are back from the dog park. It was so much fun. It is such a beautiful day, but it's time for lunch. I'm gonna be making a broccoli flatbread from Daily Harvest. It is in this box. It's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes to cook in the oven. We're gonna preheat it at 450. So I'm so excited because I'm hungry and this is convenient because it's not gonna take that long and I don't have to prep much. So let's go ahead and get this ready and throw it in the oven. So I also just wanted to show you guys the ingredients that are in this meal and the fact that it's all organic. So we have broccoli, tomato, kale, onion, basil, and black garlic. And then the instructions are down here at the bottom of the box. So here is what the flatbread looks frozen before I put it into the oven. And you can tell how fresh it is. I'm so excited to eat this. Time to go in. Okay, see you in 20 to 25 minutes. All right, so I left it in there for 20 minutes and now I'm just gonna take this pizza cutter and slice some pieces so it's easier to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then show you guys what it's all about. Okay, so I just transferred it onto a plate. I am so excited to eat this. Mm, I was so hungry too. And I know you guys laugh because I'm always hungry but I am because I love food. And that's probably due to COVID-19. My appetite has completely grown, I feel like, which is probably not the best thing. But if I can fill my body with food like this, I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then let it digest and probably get in a quick late afternoon workout. All right guys, since I'm already here, I thought I'd do a quick little tour of our gym, garage gym. So we have a bench. We got this off of Facebook Marketplace. This is a sand ball, which is way too heavy. Neither one of us can use it. I got ankle weights off of Amazon. He put this thing up here so he can practice handstands. Um, we have a squat rack, some weights. 
a bar. Um, we got adjustable dumbbells. They're adjustable weights, which is awesome because we don't have room for a full rack and a rack is expensive. So you can adjust it here, depending on the weight that you want to use and then just pull it out. And then we have kettlebells. Then we have this large thing, which is, I don't know the actual word, but it helps us with our abs and other exercises. We have a yoga mat, some resistance bands. Don't know the name of this, but a lot of this stuff we got off of Facebook Marketplace. Hey guys, I just got back from working out and taking a shower. I'm so excited to make dinner for you guys. It's gonna be blackened chicken, some couscous, as well as some roasted cauliflower. It shouldn't take long. It is healthy and quick to make, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the meal and start preparing the food. One thing that I learned is that I actually put the rack on the top level so that it doesn't burn um, and it does cook really well on the top rack. Okay, so cauliflower is all chopped up and clean, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up. All right, so that is what the cauliflower looks like, all seasoned. I'm gonna go ahead and add it onto a baking sheet and then toss it into the oven. Okay guys, so cauliflower is good to go. All right guys, now time to move on to the chicken. And that's it. I'm just gonna rub it in for this side. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to the pot for the chicken and let that warm up before I put the chicken in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cook on each side for about seven to 10 minutes. And then I'm also gonna wait for the cauliflower and then flip them over once it's been about 10 minutes. So now that the chicken is cooking and the cauliflower is in, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the couscous. It requires one tablespoon of olive oil, and then next it'll just need one and three-fourths a cup of water. So now I'm just gonna add the couscous in there without the seasoning, and I'm gonna let this um, come to a boil. Okay, so the couscous is all done. That was the final step to the meal. It's so quick to make and it has such a great flavor to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build the plate. Okay guys, here is the last meal of the day, our dinner. It is 
quick to make, super, super tasteful. It has so much flavor to it and it does not take long at all. I'm so excited to eat this. The couscous is probably my favorite part. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, what I eat in a day. Um, I enjoyed making those meals for you guys. Like I said earlier, if you're interested in trying out Daily Harvest, go ahead and use my discount code Hermela for $25 off your first order. Dinner is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll see you at the next video. See you.